Hey everybody, welcome back to Doc G's Reloading. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, Prime Vibe, which is the new uh, primer tube filler system from Double Elf Academy. I did an unboxing of this not too long ago, and I got it set up here on my bench. Now I just C-clamped it down here because this is right next to where I'm reloading, so sometimes, you know, if I turn around and bump with my elbow, I'm not going to knock it off the bench. I mean, I could move it down, but this is the section of the bench I wanted it to be on, but anyway. Uh, and then I kind of put this uh, down here with uh, some of that Velcro, that 3M stuff that doesn't mar when you take it off. Uh, but yeah, let's go over how it works. And now I've, I've loaded about a thousand rounds with this already. And um, when I was using uh, the other uh, product from Double Alpha, that was their um, one that looks like a cement mixer and spins. Uh, that one, about five primers out of a thousand would be the wrong direction. And, uh, you know, I take, the, take them apart. I don't throw them away. I, I took apart the cartridges and had to redo them all. Uh, and even though it's only five per thousand, that's still to me too many. And, um, the problem with that one is too, we have a lot of pine pollen where I live and that stuff gets in everything. And if that little cement mixer thing is, has got any dust in it or any pine pollen or anything in it and you don't keep it clean all the time. Yeah. I, I was constantly disassembling it and cleaning it. If you don't do that, then the primers stick together. They don't come out right. Uh, sometimes that would take six to eight minutes and it still wouldn't be full. Uh, then you get the air reading on it and the light would flash saying, you know, something they're not feeding. So it just became a pain in the neck and I invested in this one. And this is half the price of the Dillon and I think is better than the Dillon in a lot of ways. Um, the fact that it's much quieter and works much, I mean, well, I don't know how fast the Dillon works, but this is really fast. And what's nice is you get this really nice kind of interface here, digital interface, uh, that helps you really kind of fine tune the machine. So here's what you do. So we just hit the button here, uh, get that straight. There we go. So you just hit the button, turns on, takes a second, and then it shows you. So it's set for four minutes and the frequency is 97.5. So 97.5, for whatever reason, I'm using Winchester and Federal primers. And for whatever reason, those two small primers seem to fill the, the best and fastest at 97 and a half uh, on the frequency. But I've kind of found that out trial and error over the last thousand rounds. But so I have this, this is the, tube it came with and that one i'm going to empty out in a second and then this is the this is a regular dylan one this is the one that i bought from dylan a while ago and these work perfectly as well so you just put the magnet on there after you check the spacing on it and the dylan tubes work just as good as the double alpha tubes do so let's empty this out up here we'll show you uh, I kind of get this. there we go i got 100 of those emptied in there and then Put that on there and then we'll just hit the start button and like i said this has never taken more than two minutes to fill two minutes is the max it usually fills it in about a minute uh to maybe a minute and five something like that um but you can see already they're starting to stream down there through that opening and they're just zipping down there and you can see them going through that little thing going through there as you're zipping down that spring. Now the only caveat to this machine is make sure when you have that get this set up, is that spring really you need to push it in hard at the bottom and at the top. The two red pieces of metal there, uh, it would be blue if you were doing large primer. But those two pieces of metal, you really have to seat that spring in there well. Otherwise you kind of run into problems. Um, and then here, the last couple here. Um, gone down perfectly. We're down to our last two here. That one's going to fall off because it's the wrong direction. Uh, and come around. We got that one going in. And uh, like I said, just make sure that you get the uh, um, that that spring has really got to hold on to that uh, metal. So either side. And then here we go around. So that one had to go a couple times around, but no big deal. I mean, honestly. Um, now it's going to go all the way and then that's your last one. Boom. Last primer goes in at roughly two and a half minutes left. So shut it off. So that was four minutes and at two and a half it was done. Um, so you're looking at a minute and a half to fill it. And that's just because that last one had to go around a couple times. Usually they just fall off the right way up and they go around and they go in. So that took a little extra, 
But again, you're talking a minute and a half. Um, a lot of the times it's about a minute to a minute and five seconds. And you saw how fast they were going in there. I mean, they were just screaming in there the whole time. Um, and like I said, the way it's set up, uh, you, none of these primers, out of the first thousand that I've loaded with this, not a single primer has been the wrong direction. So with the other equipment, I had them in the wrong direction. So uh, this thing works fantastic. Um, I love it. Super quiet. Uh, so quiet that you know I could be down here uh, working on this and you know my wife's upstairs sleeping. She wouldn't even hear this thing going. So, um, the Double Alpha Academy, um, Prime Vibe, and First Thousand Rounds. All right, thanks again for watching Doc G's Reloading.